Plant breeding of improved varieties was a major reason for the success of the green revolution. Molecular biology and genomic technologies in the last 20 years have greatly advanced our knowledge of crop genetics, which is the foundation for plant breeding. This advancement in knowledge continues at an accelerated pace today. The total DNA sequence, or genome, for a number of crops has now been determined, thanks to the vast improvements in sequencing technology. This has allowed the identity of all genes and their location on the chromosomes to become known. For other valuable species where we don't have total sequence, alternate tools for studying DNA are being used to map the location of important trait genes. Even partial sequence information can be used by plant breeders to enhance the selection of beneficial gene combinations. Many biotechnologies, and particularly genomics, would not be possible without the use of robotics for sample handling in the lab and high-speed computers to deal with the data. In addition to improving conventional breeding approaches, new biotechnologies are available for direct gene insertion of one or more genes into crop plants. This leads to the production of plants that are designated genetically modified or GM plants. The GM technologies have been tested and widely applied to crops including canola, cotton, corn, and soybeans. These technologies can produce plants with herbicide tolerance, plants which deter insects feeding on them, and plants with improved stress tolerance. While improved yield potential and disease resistance will always be fundamental goals of plant breeding efforts, many other traits for potential incorporation are also being considered through the GM approaches. One such idea is the development of nitrogen fixing cereal crops to reduce the need for external fertilizer. At some point, we may also see the removal of the cause of allergenic reactions to nuts. We also may see the removal of toxicants in other crops. A major international effort to improve nutrient composition of staple crops in Africa is underway using GM technology. The goal is to enrich several crops with provitamin A, zinc, and iron as these nutrients are often deficient in the African diet, resulting in serious health problems. These technologies will continue to provide new knowledge from research, as well as potential approaches for the development of new and improved crops. While differences of opinion exist on how certain technologies should be used, these technologies will continue to advance our knowledge and will play an important role in feeding the additional two billion people expected over the next 40 years.